Hello and welcome back to my shop. I've got a few pieces of this really big rebar. It's over an inch thick. I've been thinking about making some tools from this, but I want to check it to make sure that it's a good quality steel. I've also got some other scrap steels like leaf springs, coil springs, saw blades. I'm going to be checking a few of these steels and testing them against known steels, carbon tool steels, and I'm going to check them to see how they compare to the tool steels. So stick around if you want to find out. So what I've got going on here is I've cut a bunch of pieces of these different types of steel and I've got them all about the same thickness, give or take, except for the leaf spring, but I cut a cross section of that that's about the same thickness as these other pieces of steel and I'm going to heat them in the forge and then quench them and try to get them as hard as I can and I want to break them apart to do a couple of things. I want to see the grain structure on the inside of the steel and then I want to do a spark test and see what kind of sparks they produce. Okay so I've got the steel heating up in the forge here. I'm going to test it on this magnet right here and once they're non-magnetic I'm going to quench them in water. I'm hoping that that'll give me the, the, the most hardness out of this steel. thicker and I'm not I'm just not sure if that's gonna break as well so that I can see the grain structure. got a 40 grit ceramic belt on here and I'm gonna start with the leaf spring
here's that rebar. You can see just how big it is. I'm sure this is used for something structural. I got this at the scrap yard. And it's about an inch and a quarter. Okay, now I want to do a file test to see if these will skate a file. This is the leaf spring. Definitely. Coil spring. Definitely. Rebar. Yes. Concrete saw blade. So that one bites a little more. And I'm wondering if this one didn't get heat treated properly. I've made a lot of knives out of this saw blade and they do get hard, I know. And they do hold an edge well, I know, because I've used them a lot. And I've always had really good luck with this. So I'm wondering this if this has a little bit of decarb, which is where the surface loses carbon. This one was soaking in the forge the longest, so it may have lost more carbon. It, it is definitely hard. 1084. Yes, definitely skates a file. 80 CRV2. See, that feels like it has some decarb. But then it gets, once you get past that initial layer, it skates a file. If I go right on the edge where the core is exposed, it just skates a file. The most surprising to me is this rebar, because generally rebar is really low quality. It's like hit or miss. It's sometimes a medium carbon steel. And this is from my experience and from research I've done, which is very limited. So this is just, you know, my opinion and just take it for what it is. But this looks really promising to me. I can't believe that grain structure. I can't believe that it got brittle. Any other time I've tried to harden rebar and I've tried to do the, the shatter test to see the grain in the middle, it just bends. You can't get it to, to break like this. So I'm really impressed with this and I'm going to do some more testing. In doing this testing, I've made some conclusions. I already know 80 CRV2 and 1084 are good blade steels. I know that leaf springs are generally made of 5160, which is a really good blade steel as well. Coil springs are generally made of 5160 or some similar type of spring steel. So the coil spring and the leaf spring are going to make good serviceable blades. My two wild cards are the concrete cutting saw blade and the rebar. In my testing today, the concrete cutting saw blade did not perform as well as I thought it would. The other wild card is the rebar, which I was super surprised with the results on the rebar. It seemed to have a really good grain structure and it was brittle enough to break after full hardening and it skated a file. So I'm going to do some further testing and I'm probably going to forge some tools and some blades out of this and do further testing on that material. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Hopefully you learned something. I know I did.